Hello everybody and welcome back. Today, got two favorites for y'all. Um, they're copycat recipes, but uh, what I'll be making for y'all today is uh, the Cane's dipping sauce and the Cane's uh, bread. And them are two that everybody seems to like. So, uh, here we go. I'll show you how to make them. All right, so for this recipe, you're going to start out with one half cup of mayonnaise. Then it's going to get a quarter cup of ketchup. Then you'll get a quarter of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. A half of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I grind mine a little bit coarsely so if you're using pine it's going to be a half a quarter of a cup or a quarter of a teaspoon but I do um, this coarse grind and I do pretty much a whole teaspoon. And you mix that up. Once you get this mixed up and all good and mixed, I'm going to do just a little bit of fine black pepper in here too. Just to make sure you make sure this is all mixed real well and then once you mix this um this needs to be go in the refrigerator for at at least eight to ten hours otherwise it's going to taste like straight ketchup you gotta let the uh, let the sauces all break down and merge together. But that's what it should look like whenever you're done. And like I said, let this sit. Um, it's best to make it the night before. Um, you might be able to get by with like four to six hours ahead of time, but I would say at least eight to ten. Just a minute, I'll be back with y'all with the uh, with the uh, their Texas toast. But uh, be just a minute for y'all. 
gonna be about eight hours for me, so I'll be back. Now to go along with that uh, cane sauce that I made earlier, um, we're gonna make some uh, cane's toast. To do that, we're gonna start with a uh, half a stick of butter softened. And once you soften your butter, you're gonna add the uh, one teaspoon of uh, garlic salt to it. And then you're gonna mix that up good, just like so. And uh, then you're gonna put it on your toast here in just a minute and uh, fry it in your skillet. All right, so now for your cane bread, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go with like a medium heat on your stove. You're gonna come across with, on some uh, some thick sliced uh, French bread. You're just going to lightly coat it and you're going to throw that into your uh, skillet. You gotta make sure you get both sides. And this doesn't take a whole lot of butter. Just a light, light coat. Now you see this is going to start browning like that and uh, that's how you want it to be. You don't want to blacken it and you don't want to leave it too light like these. I'm going to actually have to put these over again. <laughs> 